Being here in an animation studio, making a network television animated show, on a daily basis, I shift from being agog to feeling completely comfortable and in my element. Lisey, what's in the soup? I could write out the recipe if you like it. I hate it. Oh, well, I won't bother then. Look at everybody, Mark and Todd, our directors on Corner Gas Animated. I have a series of intense questions here. I'll go right to the questions. How much am I paying you and why? No, that's not the question. Did you have any concerns with the notions uh, of doing a live action show and making it animated? Not really. I think, uh, if anything, it was uh, an opportunity to try and make things bigger. <laughs> I do the voice directing with all the actors because I know the actors, we've gone through so much together. Oh! It's fun to see everybody become more animated while they're performing. Order! Law and order! It's one of those things you look forward to coming to work. It's not even work, it's playtime. It's awesome, I mean, you can just sort of like slip into your slippers and unbutton your button. There's a toe in my coffee! It's not coffee, it's soup. You brought me a coffee cup full of toast soup? You don't have time to get annoyed or sick of everybody. <laughs> and that's actually not true. I was so sick of them the other day. <laughs> <laughs> I typically fall into the, the front end of things, looking at uh, animatics and storyboards. Tell our viewers what an animatic is. An animatic is a, a film storyboard where we take the drawings that have been done and move them along with the uh, recorded dialogue, like a radio play, and get it to time so it's just still pictures of every shot. Once the storyboards are approved, they come to us and we do like main location concepts. We actually have tons of live action reference. I'm focusing my energies on money-making ideas, like a petting zoo, or a dude ranch, or, or maybe a zoo where you pet dudes. It's kind of like building a room. Then you start putting in like chairs and tables. So usually this is something. Devil. George Clooney for some reason in here. <laughs> this is the type of background I will get. And then I will go in and add the details. And so this is the animation I'm getting. And so my job is to take this and then create a background around it. Hey, Emma, you got a Band-Aid? Probably. Um, I will take it to the painting stage as well. What a time to be alive. Exactly. Were you familiar with Corner Gas, the live action show, before working on this? I was familiar with the existence of Corner Gas, but there's not enough murder for me <laughs> to be invested. Might be murder in this episode. There's Wanda holding a handgun. Well, there you go. Fingers you got, crossed, you... <laughs> Sasha. Hey, snazzy gun you got there. What is that, a Magnum? Colt 45? Pellet. How does an animation director differ from, you know, the series director? Uh, well, okay, so... Aside from you're better looking. <laughs> no, you start to try to think of, like, what you need to do to pick up on the spirit of the show and, and try to translate it to the animated world. Trying to get the mannerisms of the characters. Do I have specific mannerisms or things that you kind of key on? Well, you know what? You're actually one of the easier characters to animate. You know, you're, you're very stoic. You're, uh, you know, you're, you're sensitive. Because I'm not a good actor. That's <laughs> well, you, a roundabout way of perhaps, saying Perhaps, yeah. I, I would, you're I would very think. wooden, Brent. <laughs> but animators usually get through about, on a good day, through about 15 seconds of animation. It's an ensemble cast. A lot of the time you're on screen together. And every single pose needs to be drawn. Check. Stop doing that. So there you go. It's just one of 400 something shots per episode. It, it's like a, a train, right? We got to make sure the train doesn't fall off the tracks. When we hit those tight turns, nobody falls off. <laughs> it feels like corner gas. I told you, you need a permit to place that potty within town limits. It feels the same, the characters are the same, the tone is the same. They've just captured these characters. I mean, I don't want to sound sappy or anything, but it opened that door. It's in my heart where all those people are that I love that are in Corner Gas. Here's the thing that makes me proudest. If you were a fan of Corner Gas, I really believe you're going to love the animated show. A hundred dune buggies pull up to a gas station and you can't figure out what we want? Could have been soda. I'd love a soda. Shut up, you! 